Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Walther PDP Performance Duty Pistol. There was much anticipation once Walther announced they were producing a new pistol. People wondered what it was. They're releasing it today. This is the Walther PDP Performance Duty Pistol. And it offers so much. And the performance duty part is a theme that runs throughout the features. You'll see once I get into this, but check out that grip. People love the PPQ. I've owned this for years. I've loved it. Two primary reasons, well, actually three, the, the shooting accuracy, but the grip ergonomics is amazing. You know, it, it, it has that cross-directional texturing. It's just so comfortable in the hand. And the trigger. Is incredible now what we have here is a performance duty grip it does have the cross-directional texturing with that additional stippling throughout that really feels great in the hand so you're getting that the same ergonomics with a heavier texture also super terrain serrations that's what Walther's calling it deep cut serrations both front and rear and they they are deep cut and they they feel great the magazines are 15 rounds all right and they are interchangeable with the ppq mags same mag so if you go with the pdp you could use your ppq mags no problem but the one thing actually there are a couple but the one thing that i particularly enjoy is the trigger they have a performance duty trigger here that is shorter and lighter i'm measuring it at four pounds and i tell you you could really notice it the range four pound trigger short travel and then your reset is right there for the follow-up shots at the range it's noticeable you could you can feel the difference when you use the pdp with this shorter trigger check that out the sights are three dot the rear sight is adjustable for windage and elevation pinned in front dot but what i like about this is that when you put a red dot on there you can see right through it you can still align your sights so that if something happens with your dot then you know you could use your sights and that is a nice way to go it does have an ambidextrous slide stop okay much like the ppq all right and there it is remains with a full pick rail right there and a nice shooting handgun. When I took it to the range, I started out with this setup right here. It is red dot ready, all right? And then Walther has various plates, so when you purchase this, you can choose what dot you're gonna use. They'll give you the, the right plate for it, and you'll love it. People are loving red dots, and Walther created red dot ready with the PDP. So let's go ahead and look at some range footage here. We'll come back and Put the dot on. I went with the Vortex Viper. It's a great red dot. One touch on, one touch off. Nice clear glass, crisp dot. And I mentioned you could see your sights through the glass just like that. All right, so that's available in case something happens to your dot. But I want to show a couple other differences that the PDP offers. A little more squared off muzzle end, okay, compared to the PPQ. And we'll take a look at the Super Terrain Serrations versus what they had with the PPQ. And we'll also look at the, the width of the grip, approximately the same, length the same, and then the texturing difference is much more stippled, obviously, but they both feel really great. And then over here, you've got a little more texturing on the magazine release. Not a deal breaker, but worth mentioning. Right there, it says PDP. Also says it right here in the back of the slide, PDP. And I also want to show you this big old suitcase that Walther gives you with the PDP models. All right, it has everything that you need. Two magazines, 
uh, 15 round magazines and a couple back straps. All the hardware that you need for the red dot is available right here. Wrenches, everything, lock, paperwork. We don't need to go through all that, but a neat case. It's big. Let me go ahead and disassemble this. We will already show clear there. Disassemble the exact same way as most Walther models. And there you can see the frame. And then the captured recoil spring and guide rod. And 4 inch polygonal rifle barrel. This is also available with a 4.5 inch model. A little larger full size handgun with the PVP. I went with the 4 inch model. Just because, I don't know, I consider it a little more of a, of a duty pistol. Perhaps four and a half may have been a good choice too. I'm, I'm not complaining. But I really do enjoy the pistol and I really like that four pound trigger. Shorter travel, right there is what you're looking at. Let's go ahead and get it on the scale. We'll take a look at the weight. With the mag in and the red dot installed. With that plate, you're looking at one pound, three quarters ounces. We move that to just ounces, 25 and three quarters ounces. Here are 15 rounds, nine millimeter, 32 and an eighth. Add additional carry round, those are target loads. 32 and a half ounces loaded with the dot and 16 rounds. Walther states that this is the most modular handgun they ever created. Various frame sizes will work. And, you know, options are always nice. Whether you use a red dot or not, the option of it being optic ready is nice. The modularity is nice. The, so you can go with the frame size that would suit you best. This pistol offers quite a bit in the package and everything that they enhanced with it for an MSRP of 649 and I think it's going to be a big hit for Walther. People love optic ready handguns and it's available here. People love the PPQ. This is like a souped up PPQ with many more options and I certainly love it. It really stood out at the range. That's where you're going to feel that trigger, feel that grip, use that optic and there's no complaining on my end. I think it's a beautiful pistol. It's a great shooting pistol. And I think Walther did a great job. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.